guys, I'm here today with a quick book review of The Disappearing Spoon by Sam Keen. You've heard me talk about this book a few times and um, I need to put up more videos, I think, so I thought I would do a review of this. Um, yeah, so if you are like me and didn't like chemistry or physics or any kind of science in high school and then immediately stayed away from it in university and thereafter, then you might also be skeptical of this book, as I was. But um, I actually got this for my dad as a birthday present. He's a chemist, and he really, really liked it and said, it's a lot of fun, you might like it also. And I was also interested in this book because on the back, one of the reviews called it ebullient. And I don't hear that word very often. So I thought I would check it out. Um, yeah, so I'm borrowing it from my dad right now and we'll give it back to him. And this book was really, really great. I had a lot of fun reading it. Um, and it, I, I just learned so much while I was reading it, not just about chemistry and science and things like that. There's a lot of that that is presented in a very um, accessible way, but uh, you learn a lot about politics and um, and history and economics and all kinds of other things as well. It even talks about how um, the the elements figure into literature. So it's a really interesting book. One of my, I mean, I have several favorite parts, but one interesting thing that I learned is that the Washington Monument in uh, Washington, D.C. is capped with aluminum and not gold because at the time it was built in 1884, that was the most expensive metal in the world. That's definitely not the case today, but that's how it was then. I didn't know that. Um, something else that I learned is that uh, elements played a really big role in fountain pens. So this is, it, it talks about the Parker 51 as the greatest pen in history and how they kind of fuddled around with different elements to make the tip really the best. Um, so that was really interesting. Um, I don't know, like the book is just written really well. Um, the guy who writes it, Sam Keen, doesn't take himself too seriously. I mean, he's obviously a very intelligent guy and knows a lot about science and chemistry. He was a physics major, I think, but then realized he was kind of bored with making graphs all the time, so he decided to write a fun book about chemistry. And at some point, he, he like refers to something as, uh, he's talking about like quantum physics and refers to it as voodoo quantum science stuff, which... I thought was great because that's kind of how I understand it. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. I'm trying to think of other little anecdotes to tell you about. Um, when it talks about gold, it talks about a, a Danish chemist um, in World War II who knew that uh, who knew that the Nazis were coming and had a Nobel Prize. So what he did was he basically like dissolved the gold into some kind of solution, which the Nazis would then overlook and not be able to steal. And um, they didn't. And then at the end of, well, well, after World War II was over, he went back to his lab and found the solutions with the gold from the Nobel Prizes in it. And he re-extracted the gold and then sent it back to the Nobel Committee in Norway and said, hey, can you guys reform these into... Nobel Prizes so that people can have their prizes back. So that's pretty cool too. Um, and throughout that story you learn that gold is really difficult to dissolve into a solution and all kinds of other things. So um, yeah, I really enjoyed this book. I think um, it's, it's great. You should check it out.